Hello nerds, today we're looking at a conservation of energy problem. So in this situation, energy will be conserved, energy is always conserved. Um, let's take a look. A 70 kilogram skateboarder goes down and then up a ramp as shown. Friction creates 500 joules of heat energy during the process. Find the initial velocity of the skateboarder. So in the image we see that we start at a height of 3 meters. We end at a height of five meters, and we reach a final velocity, or when the question finishes, we have a velocity of 3.1 meters per second. So how do we start a conservation of energy problem? Um, we start by writing our conservation statement. Our conservation statement at a basic level says energy is conserved. Energy initial equals energy final. Now we want to think about what type of energy do we have to start and what types of energy do we have at the end. So here's the initial state. So what type of energy do we have here? And here's the final state. What type of energy do we have in the final state? So the energy initial, well we have some kinetic energy initial because we have initial velocity, that's what we're looking for. We're also three meters high at the start, so we have some potential initial. Um, now at the end of the problem, we have some final kinetic energy uh, because we're moving at 3.1 meters per second, and we're five meters high, so we, we have some potential final. And we say that there is heat energy on the final side of the problem because it says 500 joules of heat was created. Now that heat might not be with the skateboarder anymore. It's not his feet aren't getting hot by skateboarding. The heat goes out into the air, but we still put it on the final side because the heat wasn't there at the start of the problem and it is in the environment at the end of the problem. So it goes on the final side. Now, there is a trick we can do here. Actually, let's expand this a bit and then I'll show you the trick. So kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So we'll have Kinetic energy initial is 1 half m times v initial squared. Potential energy is mgh initial for the initial potential energy. Kinetic final is 1 half m v final squared. Potential final is mgh final. And heat is 500, we know, but I'll just leave it as q for now. So the trick we can do. Here we have, let's, I want to bring your attention to H initial and H final. Now we can see our final height is two meters higher than our initial height. And right now we're measuring the height from here. This is our height equals zero, right? We're saying this is the lowest point. Now we could instead measure our height from here. This is called changing our reference point. And my diagram is not very to scale, unfortunately, but if we say this height is zero, then our new final height, so we set our initial height to zero, our new final height becomes two instead of five because we've raised our reference point by three meters. So instead of saying three and five, we could say zero, so we can set this to be zero, and then this one will be two, right? Three to five is the same as zero to two. Uh, and if this is zero, we can cancel this whole term because mg times zero is zero. So this is helpful because we'll have to do less algebra to solve the problem if this whole term goes away. Okay, now why don't we start trying to solve for v initial, right? This is what we want. This is what we're trying to find, v initial. A trick I like to do is to multiply everything by two. So, for example, if I have two times a half, well, two times a half is one, right? So this will cancel out. It's one times m times v initial squared. Same with this one. If I multiply this by two, well, two times a half is one. I can ignore that. Uh, I will get a two here and a two here. So what I've done is I've just multiplied both sides by two. Every term on both sides was multiplied by two. And I did that to get rid of the one halves. Now, the next thing I want to do, here, let me write this out again. V initial squared equals mv final squared plus 2 mgh final plus 2q. Okay, 
The next thing I would like to do to isolate V initial is divide both sides by M. So divide by M, divide all of this by M, M over M is 1. All right, maybe you can see my last step is to square root both sides. If I square root this side, this will go away. VI squared becomes VI, and I get a square root here. Okay, so let's finish the problem. V initial equals root. Uh, M is 70, given in the problem, times V final squared is 3.1 squared, plus 2 times 70 is mass, times 9.8 is G, times 2 is our height final. Remember, it was 5, but we changed it to 2, so we could cancel our height initial. Plus uh, 2Q is 2 times 500. Divide everything by mass, which is 70. And we put all of this in our calculator, and we find the initial velocity of the skateboarder is 7.9 meters per second. So what I'd like to do is check, does that make sense? 7.9 meters per second. Well, let's go back up here. I'll erase some of this extra stuff here. Um, we started at, if we started at 7.9, and we lose some... Um, energy to heat, and then we go up a hill that's taller than we started, we're going to slow down. So we went from 7.9 to 3.1, which makes sense. If my answer was less than 3.1, that would indicate to me that something is fishy here, and I would need to reconsider if I had made a mistake. All right, that's all for this one.